Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android again, and today I'm going to show you the Samsung Transform Ultra, which debuts on Sprint, I think on November 13th. It's going to be priced $79.99 after a $50 rebate, which puts it at an entry-level mid-range phone. It's already on Boost Mobile for $229, straight up, no contract, but uh, it's going to be a nice addition for Sprint. Um, here's the phone right here. We'll take a look at that in a second. There's not much going on in the box, I don't think. Just some instructions and uh, the USB and plug. And also, which I f you find in a lot of Sprint phones, the adapter for the micro USB to put in your computer. They provide a 2 gigabyte uh, micro USB. Now this is uh, not a thin phone, it's at 14 uh, millimeters. reason for that is the slide out QWERTY keyboard, which is a four row. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Buttons are pretty close together, um, but they work, you know, work pretty good. Uh, I think there's a seal back here, yep. The camera is 3 megapixel and there's a VJ up front. Uh, let's open up the back here. Uh, 1500 milliamp battery and the SD card micro ST is right here. Oops, there we go. Uh, camera button and volume controls um, headphone jack and power and here we go uh, comes with a 1 gigahertz uh, processor uh, Android uh, 2.3 we'll check the exact version in a second you're not gonna find uh, much touch whiz in here um, you can see the model there SPH M930 it uh, this is a stock Android as you're gonna get uh, uh, without a Galaxy Nexus or a Nexus device, shall we say? You can see the uh, lock screen right there. Uh, so this is pretty basic. Um, warning, my data something there. Okay. Um, so you can see the launcher is your basic uh, gingerbread launcher. There's five home screens and there's not a lot going on. In fact, I don't think you'll see any of the too much of the Samsung widgets going on here. Uh, what they do want you to do, uh, they got the um, Sprint ID down here, uh, so you can launch um, or get different ID packs. Let's take a look at what uh, what they have. Um, say like you can go into say entertainment for example. And pick whatever here. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to pick that. Well, I picked NASCAR. I didn't mean to pick it. We'll take it. And oh, it's saying to go ahead and install. We're okay, let's see. Let's agree to it. And continue and it's probably going to take a little bit of time we can let that go, uh, continue um, the, there are, these are buttons down here and uh, you have to get your normal four buttons your um, uh, menu home back and search Let's take a look at uh, the. Now, see the phone's moving a little slow here as we're downloading that. Okay, there it is. Okay, not too bad. I guess I didn't press the button hard enough. Let's go to About Phone. And we see the model number. Well, the Android version is 2.3.4. And the model number uh, SPH M930. So basic, basic stuff there. Um, let's take a look at uh, what we have for apps. Not a lot of apps um, on here at all. 
you, uh, that's probably the shortest I've seen in a while. Uh, it's pretty basic. It has your normal Google stuff, quick videos in there, Sprint Zone, um, your normal Google stuff. So, pretty basic. Sprint Hotspot, of course. Let's see how far we are on the Sprint ID pack. It's not too far at all. That's going to take a while to download. So, the keyboard, um, let's take a look quickly there. Let's just go into messaging here and compose something. And you can see Swipe is on board here. And let's just. Uh, Compose a message. The dog is brown. Not too bad on the keyboard. It's it's the keys are a little tight, um, but for those that are fans of of uh, QWERTY keyboard, are gonna like this. And of course, the price of seventy nine ninety nine. How can you not like it? Um, I, I like the back of this phone for a Samsung device. Most of the Samsung devices are very slippery, including the Stratosphere, which is a similar phone. Uh, this is nice. I like this. I actually find it easy to open up, uh, whereas the Stratosphere is not easy to grip and open up at all. All right, I just installed that um, Sprint ID pack for NASCAR and you can see the background is different already and you have different uh, widgets going on here uh, which is pretty cool so this is how you're going to customize it I would say so far looking at this your phone uh, early on for uh, $79.99 this is going to make a lot of people happy uh, a lot of people don't need the dual core processor and all that performance I would like to have seen maybe a five megapixel camera on it, uh, but three, you know, three megapixels is doable for some people, I guess. So this, uh, you know, we'll spend a little bit more time with the phone and we'll give a more in-depth review. Uh, but for now, this is just a quick hands-on. So uh, looks pretty good so far.